Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I am starting a weekend in my life this weekend because uh, I'm actually going out. I know, can't believe it. Going out for a meal tonight with Dan. It's our first proper date night since about February, something like that. And then tomorrow I am going shopping with my family. Well, I'm going with my mum and my sister because my dad's not bothered about shopping, but yeah, that is going to be really, really nice. And uh, I'm very excited because, yeah, today is a very sunny day. Um, it is the nicest day that we've had all summer so far, so um, it's very exciting. And it's also payday, so we are off to a good start. Um, I'm just about to start work for the day as well. Get that out of the way and done and can start the weekend. And yeah, I'm gonna go and make my breakfast. Um, I don't think it's gonna be too busy at work today. It's been fairly quiet recently. So yes, we'll get my work done for the day and then weekend celebrations. Breakfast time. And so I am done with work for the day and I'm just about to start getting ready to go out this evening. I've also just scheduled a video to go out at 6 and what time is it? 5 to, okay, 5 minutes and then it goes live. Oh, it's exciting. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to start getting ready. It's still so hot outside. Having to rethink my outfit choice a little bit because uh, not going to lie, wasn't anticipating this much heat. So um, we may need to rethink. So I'm going to start doing my makeup and my hair. Oh my hair. I'm so excited to get my hair done. I wasn't bothered. I thought I can wait a while. It's no rush. It's fine. I can just tie it up. And I tried straightening it for the other day because I haven't put any heat on it since March. And I haven't worn it down since March. So I basically haven't done my hair for many a month and um so I, I tried straightening my hair the other day and uh wow it's, it's very it's very tatty at the ends it is it's not in a good state you would think that not touching it for months would you know leave it in a pretty good condition but uh no it's not how my hair works it's very thin very tatty and yeah it's just it's not in a good way so i'm probably going to book in to the hairdressers a little sooner than i had a thought but that's exciting because i do want to get my hair done so i think i'm going to chop quite a lot of it off because it has grown to give it some credit it's grown a lot um so i'm gonna chop it all off and uh maybe get some balayage done that might be quite exciting get a bit of blonde going in the edges edges ends <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's gonna look nice and fresh. So I'm excited for that. But until then, we're going for the standard slick back bun because um, I can't really do anything else with it. It's a mess. outfit of the evening so I am wearing this little uh, blousy thing which is from Zara it's very old actually I got it a couple of years ago and um, it's got a big kind of ruffle here which is nice I'm also wearing this denim skirt which is from under the stories and I got it in the sale actually and uh, you may have seen it featured in my summer haul which was a few videos back if you haven't seen it, I'll leave a little link so you can go and watch it if you want. It's fine if not. Um, I've also got this little bag which is from Mango and that's a couple of years old as well. And then my shoes and my sandals are just these little heeled flip-flops from Topshop. <laughs> Saturday now 
and I think the last time I left you was probably when I was sat here doing my makeup to go out last night um, and yeah I had a really really lovely time it was so nice to go out and do something a bit more normal which is I know what everybody's soft saying at the moment when anyone goes out because it's true like it's I've kind of forgotten how cooped up we've been and haven't necessarily felt too weird about being inside all the time like I'm quite a home bird so actually I haven't missed being out all the time and socializing all the time but it was really really nice to go out last night and yeah the food was really lovely I had sea bream which I've never had before but it's basically just like white fish um, and I had like a tomato and courgette salsa with capers which was really really nice as well um, yeah so I had a lovely time and I'm just getting ready again now because I'm going shopping today with my mum and my sister and we usually go like every school holiday because my mum works at a school and my sister's at uni so it's always like a really good time for us to go and um, so yeah I'm just getting ready to do my makeup now I'm absolutely boiling again I've just kind of like put this top on for now because it's too hot to put my actual outfit on um, yeah, so I'm just getting ready watching the Big Bang Theory and do my makeup just about to set off so I thought I'd show you a quick outfit of the day so I'm wearing these straight leg jeans which are from Zara these are quite new in actually um, and then I'm wearing this white cotton shirt which is really old actually from Topshop and Zara chain bag which is also old and then just some kind of Birkenstock style sandals but they're just from office and they are you guessed it also old shopping and I had such a lovely day we strolled around we got coffee we had lunch we had a browse in all our favorite shops and it was so nice because we've not done that for such a long time and we've really missed it but yeah we had such a lovely day and we tried out a new place for lunch because we normally go to Nando's when we go shopping but actually one of them wasn't open and the other was only open for takeout because there's two in Leeds City Centre um, so yeah we didn't end up going there we ended up going to an independent place which is good because you know it's good to support independent places at a time like this so that was an added bonus um, we went to a place called Olive and Rye and yeah we had really nice sandwiches there and fries and that was lovely as well and then we got a coffee just from Nero so that was really nice too but yes I'm home now and I didn't really get that much but I will show you my purchases do a little try on for you because I haven't tried them on yet so I'll see what they look like and yeah after that I'm gonna have my dinner and relax because I'm so tired so I picked up this cardigan from Zara which I actually think I'm gonna exchange for a medium because it's a little bit small it's quite short on the sleeves as well so I'm gonna see how a medium looks um, it's not supposed to be huge, I don't think, but I'd maybe like it just to be a little bigger than what it is. Um, so yeah, I think I might exchange this tomorrow. Um, I'm also wearing this little gold chain, which I got today as well. This is just from Topshop. Um, and I really wanted just like a little dainty chain to wear. Um, it's giving me very sort of like grandma chic vibes with uh, the cardigan and this top. Um, I probably wouldn't wear this all together, but just for the purposes of showing you my purchases, this is what I got. I also picked up this little basic top from Zara as well. I just really like the colour of this and I thought this would go really nice 
just for the pair of jeans really um and just for working at home too it's just a nice comfy top and you know pretty cheap as well it's only how much was it 7.99 so not bad at all I also replaced um, this perfume because this is my favourite one that Zara do. So it's the Red Vanilla and it just smells amazing. I love this and um, they always seem to restock it. So I've got the big bottle and this was, how much was it? I think it was like 12 99 I've already taken the plastic off and like sprayed it on myself. Um, but yeah, I picked up one of those. So I picked up this ring from Under the Stories which really really pretty and this was 23 pounds then i just replaced my clinique moisture surge moisturizer because that was running out Tuesday. I thought I would continue the vlog even though it was supposed to be a weekend vlog I thought I'd carry on because I don't think I filmed that many clips I haven't edited them all yet but I just feel like I could do it a little bit more in there so we're gonna carry on today's vlog it is just a working day but I thought I'll bring you along with me again and we'll do a little work day in the life and um, so I've just finished doing yoga I always do yoga with Adrian because I absolutely love her. Um, so I've just finished doing that and I'm now just going to shower and get ready for work. So it is about nine o'clock now and I've just finished checking my emails for the morning, which is what I do straight away, just for like half an hour and then I'll write my to-do list for the day and then I'll go and make my breakfast, which is what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna have some granola, some yogurt and some berries, which is what I have every single day. Coffee break time. Just made myself a coffee and still doing bits of work. I've actually been quite busy this morning, but uh, not because there's actually a lot to do, but because my phone, like my work phone has been having an absolute breakdown. So that's taken up a bit of time to try and fix that. But yeah, should be all sorted now, hopefully. And yeah, I'm just having a coffee and I'm going to just have a quick flick through Instagram, post my picture for the day and reply to some comments just got a delivery from Arquette which I am so excited about so I'm going to open this now and I will try it on for you. So this is what I got from Arquette and I'm going to try it on in a second but it is this knitted vest and it was around last year. I don't know whether it was, it was probably around the same time last year but yeah I wanted it and it was just completely sold out and yeah, I actually, this time around last year as well, I didn't really buy clothes that were that expensive. Sounds like a really weird thing to say, but... I've definitely started investing in slightly more expensive pieces and shopping at like Under the Stories and Arquette and Weekday as well. Whereas last year, if I saw things that I liked that were more expensive, I didn't bother because I thought, I I'll find something in Zara that's probably similar but a fraction of the price however shopping a little bit more sensibly this year and buying less but from better places so yeah i went ahead and i bought this as soon as i saw it in stock again so this is what it looks like and i absolutely love it i'm really impressed with this yeah i think this will be really nice for like you know the rest of the summer because i mean let's face it 
not been a great summer has it it's currently the 4th of august and it's chucking it down outside as always um but yeah i love it so this will be really nice for the winter as well um the only idea i've had for layering is for like a white shirt so i'm gonna need some inspiration so if anyone has any ideas let me know if not i will go on a instagram and pinterest journey to find how to wear this but yeah absolutely love it so hopefully this is still in stock by the time i put this video up but what i have noticed is that they tend to restock a lot of things at arquette um because the striped dress that i have that i wore in my summer haul um that's from arquette too that went in and out of stock a couple of times before I bought it so hopefully if this does if it's not um available at the moment then hopefully it will be again like fairly soon but yeah so happy with this so it is quite a lot later on now and I've had dinner and I've just put my pyjamas on and I'm gonna get ready for bed but I thought I would just end the vlog here um, I've not had the most interesting evening I've just been editing this vlog actually um, so yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and comment and subscribe as well if you're not already and I will see you in the next video